Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss restrictions. Now when would we have restrictions? If the identity is a fraction, then the denominator may not equal to zero. Because as soon as it's equal to zero, then it becomes undefined. So the reason we have a restriction is we make sure that the denominators are not equal to zero. Now let us take the following identity. We had done this identity before. So in this video we had discussed how 1 minus cos 2a over sin 2a is equal to 10a. Now what would the restriction be? The restriction would be that sin 2a may not equal to 0 but also sin 10 is sin over cos then cos a may also not be equal to 0. So we have two restrictions here. We have sin 2a may not equal to 0 and the second restriction we have is that cos a may not equal to 0. If we are doing the restriction all you have to remember is work with the denominators. So sometimes even if you are given the identity and you can't completely solve the identity, you can still do restrictions. Now if we say have sin 2a is equal to 0, you must know your general solution. You are going to press shift sin 2a and then you are going to have 2a is equal to 0. So you are going to press shift sin 0 and you have 2a is equal to 0. Remember you don't split it there, then you do your t. Now t is considered a positive, so we know sin would work in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So for the first quadrant we have 2a is equal to 0 plus k 360 degrees. And for the second quadrant we have 2a is equal to 180 minus 0 plus k 360. Now if you are not aware of what I am doing, you have to go to your general solution and revise it. I am simply solving. So a would equal to 0 plus k 180 degrees. And in this case, A would equal to 90 plus K 180 degrees. Now, what are our restrictions? When we are talking of our restrictions, then this is our solution. Our solution is that A is equal to 0 plus K 180 and A is equal to 90 plus K 180. Now, let us do cos A. You would have A is equal to 90. Since we are talking of restrictions, you don't need to put the equal to sign. So cos in the first quadrant is A is equal to 90 plus K 360. But where is cos positive? Cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. So we have 360 minus 90 plus K 360. If we solve this one, we have A is equal to 270 plus K 360. And this one remains A is equal to 90 plus K 360. So what is our solutions? Our solutions is A is equal to 0 plus K 180, A is equal to 90 plus K 180, A is equal to 90 plus K 360, and A is equal to 270 plus K 360. These are the restrictions that we will have. If you take the following equation and they tell you, discuss the restrictions or for which value of a would this identity be undefined. Now when will it be undefined? It will be undefined when 1 plus sin 2a is equal to 0 because that would imply my denominator is equal to 0. It would be 0 when 1 plus 10a is equal to 0 but since they have a 10 in this equation we also know another position where a would be undefined. a would be undefined at 90 degrees because remember that is your asymptotes and then it would repeat itself every 180 degrees. Now why am I saying 180 degrees? It's a 10 graph and 10 cycle is 180. So when they have 10 you would have had more than just your general solution restriction. You would also state that A is equal to 90 plus K 180. Our restriction is 1 plus sin 2A is equal to 0. That would mean sin 2a is equal to minus 1. Now, if you remember your work, 
in grade 11 where we had done general solution. I told you that when you're pressing to calculate the angle, you do not put in the negative. So you press shift, sin, and then you press 1, which will equal to 90. What is the purpose of the negative 1? The sole purpose of the negative 1 is to tell me which quadrant am I. So now you have 2a is equal to 90. The negative tells me that I'm working in the third quadrant and I'm working in the fourth quadrant because sin is negative in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. For the third quadrant, we have that 2a is equal to 180 plus. If you are not okay with this work, you need to go over your general solution in grade 11 where we discuss how we form these t's and how we get our final answer. So we have 2a is equal to 180 plus 90 plus k 360. And then in the fourth quadrant we have 2a is equal to 360 minus 90 plus k 360. Now you can solve for a. So we have 2a is equal to 270 plus k 360. If you divide by 2, we're going to have A is equal to 135 degrees plus K 180. And if we do the next side, we have 2A is equal to 270 plus K 360. Divide by 2, we have A is equal to 135 degrees plus K 360. So this now is your second and third restriction because remember with 10, you had one extra restriction. Now let's go and do the 10. We have 10a is equal to negative 1. If you press in your calculator shift 10, and remember don't press the sign, you're going to have 45. So a is going to be 45 degrees. Now which quadrants am I working with? 10 is negative. So where is negative? Negative is working in the second quadrant for 10, and in the fourth quadrant. The second quadrant is going to be that A is equal to 180 minus 45 plus K 180. Why K 180? Because that is the period for 110 graph. Then we're going to have A is equal to 360 minus 45 plus K 180. So if you solve, we're going to have A is equal to 135 degrees plus K 180. And here we're going to have A is equal to 315 degrees plus K 180. This would be our final restrictions. In order to do restrictions, you must be comfortable with your general solution. So again, I'm going to advise you to go over your grade 9 general solution be before continuing with this section. Thank you for watching.